Sewage treatment on ships is crucial to ensure that wastewater generated on board is properly treated before discharge into the sea. The process typically involves compact and efficient systems due to the limited space available on ships. The basic principle of the working of a biological treatment plant is decomposition of the raw sewage. This process is done by aerating the sewage chamber with fresh air. The aerobic bacteria survive on this fresh air and decompose the raw sewage which can be disposed of in the sea. Air is a very important criterion in the functioning of the biological sewage plant because if air is not present, it will lead to the growth of anaerobic bacteria, which produces toxic gases that are hazardous to health. Also, after decomposition of the sewage with anaerobic bacteria, a dark black liquid causes discoloration of water which is not accepted for discharging. Thus, in a biological sewage treatment plant, the main aim is to maintain the flow of fresh air. Precautions for efficient operation of STP the aeration blower is installed to run continuously as it helps the microorganism to sustain and grow. Never switch off the blower as it will cause the death of microorganisms, which will, in turn, reduce its clarification efficiency and will take days to grow microorganisms again. Never throw any foreign substances such as cigarette buds, paper, rags etc. into toilets as it may choke the pipeline or filter hampering the STP operation. The toilet tissue used on board should be free of vinyl components as it affects the growth of bacteria. Never use unauthorized chemical or detergent to clean toilet. The gray water inlet pipe must be placed lower than the water level of the inside of STP to decrease the foam generation. The pH of the samples of effluent shall be in the range of 6 to 8.5. The nitrite content is not to exceed 10 mg per LTR NO2. Shipboard sewage treatment systems are typically designed to be compact efficient, and capable of functioning in the dynamic environment of a moving vessel. Additionally, regular maintenance and monitoring are critical to ensure the proper functioning of these systems and compliance with environmental regulations.